Union Minister Jitendra Singh recently said that India was taking steps to develop small modular nuclear reactors or SMRs. Singh said that the participation of the private sector and startups should be explored in the development of this critical technology in the country. The minister also said that these modular reactors will also help the country in its efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions. Small modular reactor is an advanced nuclear reactor that has a power generation capacity of up to 300 megawatts per unit. This is one-third the capacity of a traditional nuclear reactor. The main benefit of the SMR is that it is small and modular. SMRs were designed to do away with the problems in conventional nuclear plants. Conventional nuclear reactors are massive in size and have a high cost of construction. According to some estimates, the construction of these plants may cost up to $5,945 per kilowatt capacity. SMRs provide a solution to all this. The small size of these reactors makes it possible for the companies to install them on difficult terrain. Their modular property allows the company to transport them easily from the manufacturing location to the plant. It brings down their cost of production as well as the construction time. In areas which lack sufficient grid capacity like rural regions, SMRs can be installed into the existing grid and increase the power output. The SMRs provide low carbon power which is less harmful to the environment as compared to thermal power. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, SMRs are relatively safer. No human intervention or external power or force is required to shut down systems because passive systems rely on physical phenomena like gravity and self-pressurization. These reactors require less frequent refueling as compared to refueling once every one to two years in conventional plants. These plants can last three to seven years. Some SMRs are designed to operate even for up to 30 years without refueling. Over 70 commercial SMRs have been developed around the world. But the only modular reactor design that is operating is on board the floating nuclear power plant Akademik Lomonosov in Russia. The construction of the biggest land-based SMR began in the Chinese power plant Linglong-1 in 2021 and is due for completion in 2026. Their cost of production is likely to stay high unless mass production is undertaken. Now, with the center's involvement, SMRs may become more viable. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.